Hi, welcome to Mini Shop's How to Sculpt videos with myself, Elizabeth, and today we'll be making this cute little whale. I have him made as a plant steak, but you can make him as anything you would like, as a magnet, earrings, just a figurine, an ornament, whatever. And I'd love to see what you guys make, so feel free to send photos and I'll feature them at the end of a future video. Let's get sculpting. Before you begin, grab a work mat. A piece of paper will do just great. You'll need your blue clay, black clay, and white clay. Mixing the black and the blue together, you'll get some dark blue clay. Or mixing the white and the blue together, you'll get some light clay. I like to make my whales this darker blue clay, but you can make yours whatever shade you would like. You'll need a potter's needle or a toothpick works well, and this sculpting tool, but the sculpting tools in the DIY kits work great. Begin by taking your blue clay, warming it up. We warm it up so it doesn't crack in the oven. Once you have that, roll it into a ball between your palms or on your work surface. Once you have the ball, twist it back and forth between your fingers so that it creates a little teardrop shape. With this teardrop shape, roll it out just a little bit until it is long enough to bend around a third of the way from the front to the back. And we'll set that down. Take some more clay, two small balls. But to make two small balls, I just take one piece of clay and then split it eyeballed evenly. We'll roll those and then, same as for the larger teardrop, just roll it slightly back and forth between your fingertips to make a little teardrop shape and repeat with the second one. And then we'll take those and set them on the end of that roll from earlier. You can face them any way you'd like, towards the front, towards the side. I like towards the side, so I'll do that. And then you'll take your sculpting tool and smooth those seams down. This is securing it, securing the fins to the tail. My apologies if I use the wrong anatomy. Feel free to correct me on that. Sometimes I use my finger to tap those seams also. That makes them a little smoother and it's okay to bend your tail back so that you can work in this area. Clay is malleable so you can just re-bend it. We'll set that down. And I forgot to note, if you're making earrings or pins or something like that, when you roll the ball for the whale, press it slightly between your fingers and set it on a work surface so it's flat. So rather than being a ball, it's flat on one side. All right, once we have that, we'll take our white clay. And if you're able to, before you work with your white clay, to just take a wipe to your fingers. If the blue clay is gotten on your fingers, that will help it from getting blue. Take a little bit of white clay, warm it up, and then roll it into a ball, and then roll that into an oval, and flatten it between your fingers. Just tapping it, pull it off, and we're gonna set it on our little whale. You can see if you like the amount, and if it seems like too much, you can just pull some off like this and tap that edge. If it seems like too little, you can take it off and add more. Once you have that, take your sculpting tool and make a little indent about a third of the way over and a third or quarter of the way up on both sides. We'll take our black clay and warm it up, kind of pinch off just a tiny little bit of black clay, split it evenly into two. And if you can tell it's already gonna be too big for the eyes, you can split that into two. I'm gonna roll it out into a little snake to split it like this. We'll roll those into a balls and then we'll set them in those indents. If you like the size, just give it a little tap. Put it on the other side. Don't tap it until you're absolutely happy with the size. Take your white clay and roll six small white balls, about as much as you took for your black clay. And with each ball, we're gonna set them on the top of our whale. You can set them in whatever order you'd like. I'd like to set three on one side and three on the other, but you can add much more than six. It's all up to you. Just set them on there first before you tap them on. Just tapping them kind of squishes it into there, but don't tap at an angle, tap straight down so that it doesn't smush into a way you don't like it. Take your blue clay again, about as much as you took for one of the back fins, and then you'll split that into two, and we'll make those into teardrop shapes again. Roll them into ovals, twist them back and forth, roll into an oval, twist back and forth. So we have two little teardrops. You will set those right about here, a half or a third, depending on your preference, and on both sides. You can look from the top to see if they're lined up, but if you don't want them lined up, that's cool too. Something optional is to take your sculpting tool and just make little indents on the white portion. Sometimes I like to do this and sometimes I don't. Then take your sculpting tool and just flick a little bit of white clay off of the lump of clay and then set that on your whale's eye. Give it a little tap 
like so. Do that on the other side, like that. And once you have that little guy all ready to go, you can sign your name if you'd like, or your initials. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.